Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you a program called Winderstat. Now, Winderstat is an awesome program that allows you to see your disk usage and statistics viewer, and also lets you clean up lots of your various files and stuff that you have on your computer. So let's say you have lots of files that are saved on your computer, and you have stuff in documents, music, photos, videos, stuff everywhere just tossed around, and then you're limited on storage on your computer, well, this will be showing you how to clean up some of the stuff. So let's go ahead and just jump right in this video and show you how to install it. So first thing to do is go ahead and just open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And when you get to the search bar up here, you're going to type in winderstat.net. And I have that misspelled right there. Win D-I-R, Durstat, and you're pretty much going to press enter, and it'll take us to this site right here. Now, this thing does tell if you're looking for an alternative for Linux, then there'll be this version right here, K-Durstat, and if you're looking for a Mac, there's Q-Durstat also, that sends you your options to install those, but what we're going to do is go ahead and go to downloads for this, and that tells us options to location, to download it. I'm actually going to choose it below, and we're going to choose open source code right here. It says source forge, actually, and click that location. And I'll take it to this site right here. Once you get to here, you'll choose the download and let it pretty much do a few seconds for it first. And now the program's pretty much downloading. Give it a little bit of time for it to finish. And the program's done. As you notice right here, this is just within one week, has had more than 18,837 downloads this week that is crazy because it's a very good program so once the program is pretty much done downloading you'll click the program and you'll probably be prompted go ahead and press yes you will need this to be allowed for it and um, for the rest i don't need this browser anymore so i'm just going to go ahead and just exit here's pretty much the information of license agreements you don't have to read them pretty much it's up to you and i'll just choose accept and press next has a few other selections for other languages if you need them like that. I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it alone. Seems that it also has some communication that's probably compatible for Windows 95, Windows 98, or me. That is crazy. Um, regardless, I'm going to go ahead and just press next. Tells us where the destination folder is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is and press install. And it says that it is completed. So now you can just pretty much close and it says the system's already checked to run the Windows stat for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just press close. Now from here, when this program finally gets installed and you open it, it tells us what hard drive you're going to select. Usually by default on your computer, you have C drive. That will be your individual. Now you can do all the drives if you want to. It's up to you. But I usually select by based on each hard drive that I have, and that way it'll go through and you can look around what files you have. So you'll press OK, and I'm gonna go ahead and just expand this. And give it a few minutes, depending on if you have lots of files, it will just be there still running into it completes finding all your files that are there and right now I'll give you a total completion of how much storage is being used on there alrighty so now it's pretty much completed it has all the little selections. When you see stuff that are huge like this, you see this is a page file. That's pretty much anything that's from a web base. That's a background file. You can't technically delete that, but you would have to look up into the web and you can probably just change how much page files you want to store to be in there. This one right here is pretty much the swap files. But you can go into details and I'll show the most highest files that are being used right here. So on Windows, it has a Win SXS. That's some pretty much some updates that were created, downloaded, and installed on your computer for them. Seems the program's taking a little bit of time because I opened it. Let's see if it goes through it real quick. Okay, so here's pretty much a lot of files from Windows updates that are pretty much installed or got installed on Windows. You don't really need them. There are some ways how to clear that out, but don't go and just delete this files right there. Um, and there's special ways that has to be done to clean that up. And if not, you might need that later down the road in case you need to uninstall programs and stuff like that. The main point is, is when you have files like in your documents, that once this thing finishes closing back up, I'll be showing you how you can clear those files out. 
going to minimize this again because I don't need windows. We're going to go based on users. That would be your location. And you see underneath user, we have used 700 megabytes right there. And what we're going to do is expand this. And if you had stuff like in downloads, it'll show you if there's a lot of files. I don't have that much stuff on here. Literally, this is just a virtual. You see, I have a few couple of download files right here. So if you had a folder or stuff, you can't don't delete the folder of downloads. You'll need that file. But if you have folders or stuff like this, you can come right here and you can just delete or delete it so that it can't be undeletable. So pretty much shift delete will do it. Or I can select it right here. So if you press shift and delete, it'll tell us, are you sure what you know what you're doing? And you'll press yes if you want it to be gone. And I'll permanently be deleted. I can do the same thing on the other program too. You can hold the shift button and do this, and I'll pretty much shred it out of there. And it's pretty much that easy. This is just used to help out everywhere to clean up your storage on your computer, or if not, you can find where files are just randomly getting piled up. Or let's say there's temp files that are just expanding somewhere. It can be so many different ways that this can be useful for you. Conclusion, you can probably find more videos on this that gives you into more depth, but this is pretty much just how to install this program. Uh, let it finish up his little loading time. It does take some time depending if you have lots of files for it to expand and stuff. has to find those spots. I, I'm pretty much don't even care. I'm going to exit this program anyway. Don't really need it anymore. And that's pretty much it on this program. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.